All right, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another B&B video. Today we're doing a little bit something different, something special on the channel. We've got the Guggen Squad hook and cook button bucket. We're actually gonna be cooking something with this bucket. That is the Guggen Squad hook and cook bucket. So we're gonna be trying to saute and fillet the nil guy that I shot down in Porter Mansfield. What I'm gonna be using is I got, we got the cutting board right here from the Guggen Squad bucket. So I'm gonna be using some of that. We've got the knife right there. We've got a towel. The towel is kind of making me cringe a little bit. We've got a fillet glove, which is perfect. An aerator that we do not need because we're not fishing. Pliers, don't need those, don't need those. This is what we're gonna be using out of the cook and, cook and hook bucket of the Guggen Squad. Boom, let's flip that out and we'll get a piece of meat on it. Alrighty, fellas, here's a no guy right here. I've had it marinating for about 30 minutes now in some let me go actually show you guys what I had it marinating in. I actually had it marinating in is a lot of salt and pepper. Pepper, a little bit of salt right here. And then we've also got a lot of sriracha that I put in there. Got Worcester sauce I put in there. Chili powder, garlic powder, meat tenderizer to give it a little bit more tender. Get it a little bit more tender than it already is. Apple cider vinegar. And then I also added some balsamic vinegar into it. As you can see, that's what gives it that black in there. It's been marinating about 30 minutes now. We're gonna pull it out of the bag here, set it on, or on my cutting board here. Bam, just like that. Beautiful looking, looking nil guy right there. Got the GoPro here. Show you guys a little bit of the first up, first hand view here. So I got that. Boom, you guys are on there and on here. Got a double whammy right going for us here. We've got all like the little scraps and pieces still on here. It's gonna make it a little bit tough, so we're gonna cut all those off, and I'm just gonna get to the juice here. here. Oh wow, okay, first cut with the Guggen Squad hook and cook knife. Literally clean slice right through it. Oh my gosh, guys, this, wow. I highly recommend this product, guys. Holy smokes. Just literally cut right through it, man. Dude, guys, I cannot believe the how good this cook and, hook and cook knife is for probably like a three dollar knife because the the whole entire hook and cook set was like twenty bucks for the whole entire bucket, which is insane in the membrane. We're making quick work of this nil guy here. Okay, perfect. That looks really good right there. I'm gonna cut off this. Wow, that looks like prime meat right there, boys. Wowza, clean, clean off, boys. As you guys can see right there on the GoPro, it is clean as a whistle. Um, just a little bit left here that we need to cut up. This is what's going on the grill. Bammo. In the salama right there, boys. We got our excess crap. I'm actually gonna use the hook and cook bucket right here to put my excess meat in. All right, fellas. Actually, I'm gonna throw these nil guy pieces back into my stuff because I just cut them all up. So I need them a little bit juicy here. Um, get the inside juicy too. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a shake and bake. First impressions on the Guggen Squad hook and cook knife. Probably one of the, honestly, right out of the box for how cheap it is, one of the best knives I've used for the price. Um, definitely not the best knives I've used. I've used some pretty expensive, really, really high quality knives. Um, but this guy, for how cheap it is, it's probably three bucks in the Guggen Squad hook and cook bucket. It cuts like a hundred dollar knife. It doesn't look like a hundred dollar knife, but it cuts like one. Boom. All right guys, so I actually have some vegetables from my garden. I know you guys saw that video. If you didn't, I'll leave it up here. And jalapenos and an okra. I'm gonna be throwing them in the dish with the meat. As you guys can see here, I'm gonna cut the tip off of that. Gosh, guys, I just don't know how they made such a smooth knife. Slices right through it. It's gonna be scraps. Throwing all my trash in the hook and cook bucket. That's also a good deal there with that hook and cook bucket. I can just throw all my trash, boom, right in there. Makes it perfect. Trash, boom, right in my hook and cook. Putting all my jalapenos in there as well. Wow. Okay, now I'm gonna head over to the stove real quick and we're actually gonna throw a griddle on there and we're gonna get, get it hot with some butter and we're gonna start sauteing these bad boys. So let's go, let's dive right into it here. Oh wait, one more thing, fellas. So I got this meat thermometer from Zach Hack in the back. He gave it to me for my birthday, which I really, I just tried it out um, right now. It was like, I just opened it. Mm, I think it was yesterday. Uh, I can't really remember what day it was, but this thing is epic, boys. It literally has a button right there that shoots this thing out. Turn it on, one pump. It's literally so simple, so smooth, so easy, and it measures the temp perfect. So, um...
Alrighty, fellas, so we're back here. We got everything cut up, ready to go. What I'm gonna be doing actually is I'm gonna be taking my meat. It's been sauteing for about 20 minutes now, 20 more minutes here. Already juicy filleted meat here. Nail guy meat, by the way, guys, this is all nail guy. A little bit of everything here. We're just gonna be slapping some stuff on here. I wanna go too heavy on the seasoning, but don't want it tasting too bland here. I wanna be able to taste the nail guy as well. Now remember guys, when you go this heavy or this however light you go, you gotta remember that in the seasoning process, as you go and you cook through it, you're gonna have some of the seasoning, a lot of the seasoning, probably 60 to 70% of your seasoning that you put on the meat is gonna fall off. So you gotta actually coat it a little bit heavier than you were anticipating, else you're not gonna get any flavor in your meat. A little bit of garlic here. Boom, duster. And take a little bit of chili powder. This is the killer seasoning right here, guys. Um, this stuff actually rips. Some of our salt here. Dial it in there. You know what I mean, boys? All right, perfect. Making a little bit of a mess here. That's a lot of seasoning on there, boys. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna re-dunk it back in here just to give it a good washing. Slice it right down like that. Just like that, fellas. We're gonna make a bunch of low base steaks here. Doesn't that just look beautiful, guys? Look at that piece of meat right there. Wow, that just looks gorgeous. Now when we cut it thin like this, boys, um, it's gonna be able for me to cook it a little bit longer, or a little bit shorter. I'm gonna be able to quick, be able to cook it faster, but I'm gonna have to cook more pieces. So I might get a little bit more of an even cook um, than if I wouldn't have cooked it or filleted it like this. What I'm gonna do here now, is I'm gonna take you guys over to the, over to the griddle, over here, and we're actually going to be cooking these babies up. Ready to throw them in there? Ready to throw them on, just give it a little bit more of a dusting. Deal here. We got our hot, so you guys can see, hot deal here. I'm actually gonna be throwing in our fillets yet. Beautiful. Take a little bit of our zechi tabal. Actually, I'm gonna be testing out our meat thermometer once we're done here. Do not want to cook it too long. All right, so it says we should be taking these babies off at 145 degrees here. So let's actually test out our meat thermometer from Academy here that Zach actually bought me. Uh, so we're at 74 degrees right now. It's 80 right above here. Get a quick poke. Okay. Looking good. Okay, 140, 140. Actually, I think, guys, we should pull it off first and let it rest. Um, this meat thermometer is a game changer, though, boys. Let's let it rest a little bit, take it out of there. Now let's see. Let it rest for just a second, boys. I'm gonna take a knife here. Perfect, 153. Ooh, wow. Boys, she's a, she's a ripper. It's scrumptious, let's give her a small taste. Mm, perfect, perfect. Heck, wish y'all could be here to taste this right now. Literally amazing, fellas. So what we got here is we got our meat thermometer. Bam, press it on just like that. We got lock and we got the button. It is currently 70 degrees in here. Um, we're gonna take our thermometer. Okay, boys, we're going to just, I don't know if you, how well you guys can see that. So you guys can see that number there. It looks kind of glitchy on the screen right now. We're just gonna insert it. 160, right at our perfect temperature. Boys, right there, exact, exactly what we're looking for. We're just gonna go through, if it's high 150s, that's okay, but we're looking for one in between 140 and 160. Perfect. Make sure we're ripping her here, 153. Now this one's been resting for a little. Okay, 130. So we're gonna let it rest here a little bit. And then we're gonna throw in our other ones. I am absolutely hangry right now. So I need some food right now and I'm feeling like a ripper magoo. This one's not gonna have as much seasoning on it. I'm just gonna chunk that baby right in there like that. Looking so good. So fresh, so smooth, 
so good. The hooking cook bucket, guys, got it done. Actually got it done. We've got trash in here. We've got our knife right there that cut it all up. We got the napkin over there. We've got the everything basically going down right now. Oh, we got the cutting board. This thing actually game changer, guys. You can just unfold this. If you're camping somewhere, doing something, unfold it, ready to go. Boom, just like that. Give her a quick flip and dip. All right, guys, so that's the second flip. So you know, second flip, time to hit. Bam, just like that. Second flip, time to hit. Gonna come in here and just poke it. Nope, needs a little bit longer. Needs a little bit longer. Okay, take our little fillet here. Pull off all of our pieces that are basically done. This is to taste the second batch. Mmm, 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 mmm. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, we're gonna pull all these babies off here. Oh, gorgeous. I'll let that cool down here. Take you guys on over to the counter here where we're gonna eat. Okay, so we got our meat here. We got a lot of meat here to eat, so let's dig in here. First piece here, first bite. Looks beautifully cooked, actually. Take our first nibble. Mmm, mmm, mm hmm. Mmm, mmm. That's really good. Tender, juicy, perfect. It tasted beautiful. Gotta clean up our mess here. Well, that was a wrap. Now it's time for the conclusion, boys.